Asian me ready. Asian me ready. Asian me ready. Feet up. Feet up. Quiz hustle. Quiz hustle. Oh yes. 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 I'm in the club mix with some double Chris Hustle. Got my fingers on the volume because I know it's about to bubble top. Down music loud because I'm bumping CCO. Don't matter if you're home or Yo, son, you calling me like at the wrong moment. Like, the show starts in like four minutes, though. <laughs> yep, your boy, uh... You know it's poppin', you know it's real West in this thing. Yeah, you already know the light skin lover, chew them balls. We in here doing it big, you know. Yeah, you know, we, we, we got a good little show coming up for y'all today. We got uh, Greedy E&T coming in the building, Sammy the Bull, your boy uh, Problem, Greedy, Greedy be here again, you know. Man. We got the lovely Miss Iris P showing up later on today. Like I said, we got a good little show. Coming ahead for y'all. Yeah, you know. man, that wet out there, bro. They ain't tripping it. Shh, boy, let me tell you. It look like a battlefield. Man, off the hold up. Before I get into anything else, I gotta state this. Man, when we was coming off that high rise, I don't know what that was. I ain't never seen nothing like that. I ain't never life. seen it like that before either. And uh, Eva. Eva, yeah, that's I've been listening to too much Joe Button. But Eva, I'm starting to, I'm starting to talk like I'm from up north or something like that. But uh, neither. Bruh, it was like, it was wild because it was like two cars on this side jammed up against the rail. Two cars on the right side jammed up against the rail. Four cars on the left side jammed up against the rail. Two more cars, four cars on the other side. And it's like, God, dog, how did it get like that? Like, you really had to weave in and out just to get where you had to go. That, that was crazy, though, bruh. And we was almost in it because I didn't see them lights. Well, that van until at the last second, I was tripped out, son. It was crazy. Hey, but I had my seatbelt on. That's real, though. That's all that matters. A ticket. Believe me. You know? They mean it. Shout out to uh, DJ C-Dub, her Mike's E&T vice president. Uh, you know, he, he got his little studio thing popping off, looking for new clients. So y'all make sure y'all get at him. Sound Mix Studio, LLC, you know. He got a little special going on right now. First two hours, $20 an a hour, you know, regular price after the first two hours. So, you know, y'all get at my son, DJ C-Dub. If y'all don't know how to get at him, follow him on Twitter, at C-Dub HME. You can find him on Facebook, Cade Williams, you know. We get to there, we get to popping over here. Well, in the meantime, make sure y'all out there. Don't let the rain keep y'all in. I'm pretty sure y'all been wet before and you ain't gonna melt. Yeah, you know, I mean, today's not a day for, for anybody to really be staying in. I mean, when you think of everything that's popping off, you got Stevie Drummer with his video release party, you know, at the Therapy Wine Lounge. Then you got the game coming on later, the big game, Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Championship, Miami Heat versus the Boston Celtics. Then later on, you got the Manny Pacquiao and Timothy Bradley fight right after it. You know, it's an epic day going on. You know, it's, a, it's, it's an epic Saturday. It's going to be an epic weekend. I know for me, it's definitely going to be an epic weekend because it's been a long week. And just like I said on my Twitter last night, it's going to be an even longer weekend. Because after I leave this thing, I got to go get ready to be at the fight. And Mr. Al, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Mr. Al. Kind, kind young man. Young man. Kind of young man, always throwing events at his house for his fights, you know. Mr. Al so, is a homie, man. you know, Mr. Al is a homie, bro. You know, he be having everything set up, popping off. You, you want some beer? He got some beer. You want wine? He got wine. You want food? He got food. It is what it is. He provides a good environment. Shout out to Mr. Al. I'll be over there for the fight later on tonight. But uh, a after that, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna be a zombie on my Miami type stuff because I gotta I gotta go into work five to two tomorrow. Then after that I got several different things I gotta do afterwards. You know, I'm I'm planning on finishing off this little scene with uh with Lil' Kim. I ain't even gonna say like your whole name or nothing though, but I got that little scene with Kim I gotta finish off and I gotta go on this little business venture with the homie Chris. Shout out to my homie Chris Chris Lemieux out there, you know. Uh and then I just got buku other stuff I gotta do, and then turn around and go right back in five to two the next day. Notice I didn't say where where at though. Just know that I work, I hustle, I grind, I get it in. I got a nine to five and I hustle outside of that. I probably sleep about four hours out of the day, so I'm working twenty out of twenty four hours a day. Y'all get on my grind though, cause hey, just like my slogan say, ain't no rest for the weary. 
Cause me and my team, we only sleep on December the 37th. We about to get into the music, y'all, man. Yeah. HME Radio, bro. We out here. Yeah, wait, hold up. For that brief little second. Now nah, I'm playing with you. You about to get into this. <laughs> Holla at your boy, one. Yeah, yeah, swerve. Do you love this shit? Are you high right now? Lil Wayne lost his life this week by drowning in Lake Pontchartrain. And it was big for Lil Wayne to give him a shout out because that was one of his favorite artists. Yeah, that, that was pretty. It caught me by surprise when you told me about it. I had to go retweet it real quick. Shout out to that man Lil Wayne for that because, you know, I didn't expect anything like that to come from Wayne. No. But, you know. But, um, That's big though. RIP to the homie Isaiah Tate too. I got something special planned for that when I'm done shooting my video. So y'all make sure y'all be on the lookout for uh, Real West Worst Comes the Worst video dropping real soon. We got a lot know. of things in the works with HME popping off. You know, we got something big popping off. Me and Shoot'em Balls representing HME. But Father's I, Day night. Father's Day night, but we ain't gonna get too into it. We're gonna wait till Greedy and T get up in here and let them break it down for y'all a little better. Hello, Louisiana 70458. And if you have any questions, any concerns, you can call 985-685-6982. And my homeboy right here that also do business with me, Big Sam, you can contact him at... At 985-710-4369. For any questions, we'll point y'all in the right direction. Yeah. What are some of the artists that's gonna be performing, you know? Well, you right. know, we got um Make Money, Spend Money gonna be in a building. Young Trouble, Stacks, Shorty Knox, Young Problem, of course, you know what I'm saying? Cream Camaro, Rico Got him, Young Marley, Krim, I mean. It's a, it's a whole lot of them out there, man. Yeah. We got some nice little youngins too. It ain't just, you know, we got a, kind of talk to the, you know, but everything gonna work out. I think every, because it's, it's an event from eight to 10 and you know, it's also an after party, but we, you know, we as a, a company, I think we handle that pretty well. You know what I'm right. saying? Because mm -hmm. some bars in some place, you know, they could be a, you know, when it comes down to like young, it's not saying young is that's just trying to come up in there, but young is who really just trying to come up in the music game. Right. And all the people really feeling them young and like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And we want to include them in it. And sometimes you could get by with it if you know how to handle it, but some people just let them stay, you right. know? But we had talked to them, so everything good. But as far as on that note, we got young young guys, young talent out of Slidell. And uh, he actually kind of, I want to say, we're home in front of Jay Buggy. Uh, he actually, man, Jay Boogie, his people like over there in like the little Pearl River, like St. Joe area, that's where he was at. That's where I know him from, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And he, he represents that cloud gang, you know what I'm saying? He got a nice little crowd base with him, and we got other artists like Deezy, my own boy, a like, nice little dude, you know what I'm saying? From Stoner Gang, you know what I'm saying? Take Water Freshers. We got a lot of groups out there, a lot of groups, you know? Yeah, my little people, Major League Jimmy, you know what I'm saying? He gonna be in that thing too. You know what I'm saying? Gonna hold it down. All day, all day. We got SKY. I can't forget about your Street King Young. As I see, I see his stacks. Why? You know, but um, it's just a, a a good thing that we got going on. And definitely, I can't forget about a lot of things, big man. And I'm going to look y'all in your eyes when I'm telling y'all this because a lot of people have been hitting me up. And some guys who I work with who've been putting people up on this. And not just who I work with, but just everybody who really up on this. When they seen them judges, big man, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people from Slidell really look at that and be like, dang, radio, you know what I'm saying? And then they respect what you do, big man, both of y'all, you know what yeah, I'm saying? And they like, dang, that's really the people from that radio station? I'm like, yeah, man, they really gonna come out. And I know I ain't invite you first, but I didn't know if that was you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm on that Facebook, oh, no, and I'm like, just the fact I that y'all even invited. I know, but Sam was like, you know, yeah, you know. Sam was like, man, I said, I'm like, tell him, bro. I've been, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I ain't wanna just come at you all yeah. kind of, Luckily, you said, yeah, you know, so I'm like, you know, I know who over, you know what I'm like saying, that. but I, you know, and that's why I was like, dang, they good people, because sometimes you guys are real West on HB Radio, man. who we got on the phone line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that, homie? What's up, brother? What's that? I'm cold. Who you say this is? It's Curtis, boy. Oh, what's that? What's that, what's what's that with the tattoos? <laughs> now you stand with the ink, man. <laughs> what's up, bro? You stand with the ink. 
What's that? What you at with it, son? Well, what up, bro? I see you doing big things. You're on the radio. Say it again. Say it again. I'm supporting anybody from my hood doing something. Looking for Straight like that. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Well, where you at with it, man? What's that with the ink? I'm at the crib killer, man. Look, whenever you need that to come in with me, I'll come about me, father. <laughs> you yeah. a dog with him, big yeah. man? I'm going to have that with me, man. Yeah. We used to go ham when we used to go play. When we used to play thug tackle, man, I go back with all the people, man. When I used to be having that boy limping off the field, I would feel used to be on side of bitch. I ain't talking about on no field, Phil. I feel used to be on side of bitch. Yeah, yeah, straight like that. You fall in the ditch, come and climb out, climb out. Get out of there! It's getting real. So what did you get out of there? Yeah, for real. You gonna come out? Really got it out the mud. Just like that. Yeah, but look, keep your head up, son. Keep doing your thing. I'm supporting you. Yeah. You, everybody else in my hood doing it. Straight like that. Man, y'all already know the rest of this show, bro, is dedicated to the memory of Isaiah Tate. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, everybody man, on Twitter, Twitter right now. Oh. Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne, Wayne you know, with the shout out. Yeah. You know, our prayers go out to his family right now in this difficult time, but. Yeah. 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 Probably we, we, we actually had a little conversation, like, actually, you know, like the. You know, it just ain't, sometimes people be like, oh, I don't want to, you know, you're going to yeah. make me sad. And this is a sad story, and I don't really want to bring nothing up like that, but, because I ain't no little homie, but I know one thing, somebody, my homeboy CJ put up on Facebook, once you a sport, you bleed that, man, that's real, I played football, yeah. you know that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? A lot yeah. of people that really don't really know me, know me, but if you know the history of really Chris Thomas instead of just really a bad, you know I was a dog with him. Yeah. So I, 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 I kind of had a, that type of relationship with him, and I just heard the story, man, and I was like, and it's, it's one of those things, like, you might not have played that with him, really touched but he went to where yeah. you went. Yeah, yeah that's what I said, I, I, I felt, you know, right. I was like, so you went to my already. Yeah. I'm like, ah, that, that, that's, a, that's a tragedy. Yeah, I think I got to take him right That's yeah. a tragedy. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know how to feel though, cause I didn't. I didn't know him like say so. Like we was close, but I played ball with a couple with him a couple times and chopped it up with him a little bit. And just knowing him, he was a cool dude, you know. And just just knowing that that happened to him, it's just like. Cause I also That's seen wild. like a little college picture of him And I'm like dang my little cousin on Reginald went there You know I'm like oh that's a little homie right. And then they start doing his background Then he went to Selma and then be like well, I said on the ride up here right. Colin was saying you know just the other day He was he was rocking with yeah. the homie And it's just crazy like just people from yeah. our You know the yeah. nigga that was right there man yeah, Last time I, I seen him I was the last dude who just called Yeah, I was with him and I said the last time I seen him Dang. That's crazy bro but you know, it's all God playing. He gonna do what he want. Yeah. He in a better place right now. That's right. And, and to, you know, take a little time and a little shout out our prayers from Greedy NT, from Real West, and Chuck my boss, and HM and the, HME, the whole radio station to his family. I see I take family problem. Skinny Mike, Kim, 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 everybody that's in the studio. Y'all like, yeah. know what I'm talking about. Our yeah. and our prayers really go out to the Tate family. That's real talk. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Quick question. I got to throw a few of them out there. Shout out to that text message I just got here. <laughs> <laughs> How did y'all come about starting Greedy and ENT? Oh, man. How did that come about? That. And when y'all started? It, it kind of came like when I was in college, man. You know right. what I'm saying? Just playing ball, just this and that. Just doing a couple of knucklehead love movies. You know, everybody. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, college, you grew up at the time. And, uh, just kind of being out there tip tap with some people and they just seem like, hey, you, you on rap? You, that's when I was doing that with my people. And them shout out to my son Mike, shout out to TJ, you know, doing that little stuff and playing ball, doing this, doing that. You want it all. And then Greedy came about, you know what I'm saying? And me and Sam was always tip tap because he went to Southeast, you know what I'm right. saying? And my son got his situation and we always stayed in contact because we started, we was in the same little conference, you know what right. I'm saying? And, we was tip tapping, doing a little couple of things. So he was like, man, when you come home or whatever, let's start something. So I was like, dang, these little cats.